Hey guys, welcome back to World Illuminate 11. I hope you had a lovely weekend and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel. And if it is your first time checking out the channel, then please do hit the subscribe button. You are very welcome here. So earlier I did a quick video that was a message about guidance from your soul. Um, really beautiful message that was coming through there. Do check that out if you haven't seen it. And as I was saying in that video as well, I hope everyone managed to get a restful weekend because that was the message that was coming through from uh, the angels when it came to uh, the reading that came through, the guidance that came through last Friday. Um, just before the weekend and I certainly did that for myself and I really feel recharged and you know and rested today which is really good so for this video we are going to bring in a few decks we're going to check in to see what's going on with the energy as we start this new week and if you are looking to have a personal reading done for your twin flame journey then you can contact me via my email or my website my details are in the description box below so we are going to bring in the light seers tarot today to check in to see what's going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines as we start this new week what is going on with the divine masculine thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculine as we start this new week what is going on with the divine masculine what anything else going on with the divine masculine thank you angels and then what is going on with the divine feminine what is going on with the divine feminine thank you angels as we start this new week what is happening with the divine feminine oops there we go anything else for the divine feminine thank you angels Right, and then we're bringing in the Sacred Destiny Oracle as well. So thank you, angels. For the Divine Masculines, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? What's going on with the Divine Masculines? Thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Masculines as we start this new week? Anything else from this deck for the Divine Masculines? Okay, and then for the Divine Feminines, thank you, angels. What do we need to know? What is going on with the Divine Feminines? Okay. We're also going to bring in the Power in Nature Twin Flame Oracle. So thank you, angels. For the Divine Masculine, what do we need to know? And then for the Divine Feminines, thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the Divine Feminines? Okay, so there's that one and that one. And then for the Journey, thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the Journey? Okay, and we'll finish off as well with some messages for, from the angels. So with the answers from above. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the divine masculines? Let's do that again. What do we need to know? Thank you, angels, for the divine masculines. Okay. And then for the divine feminines. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the divine feminines? What do we need to know for the divine feminines? What do we need to know for the divine feminines? Really jumping out here. So that's for the divine feminines. A few more there. And then for the journey, thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the journey? What do we need to know for the journey? For the journey, what do we need to know? Anything else for the journey? Thank you, angels. Okay, so these ones. Right, so let's see what has come out here. So from the... Um, the first one was the Light Seer's Tarot. So for the Divine Masculine, so for the first card that has come out here is the Magician. So this is showing you that the Divine Masculines are really sort of stepping more into their power, realizing that they have the power within them to change their life, to create the life that they desire as well. You know, the more they're connecting with their true self, the more they're awakening as well, the more they're realizing the power that they have within to be able to you know, visualize the life that they desire, the power they have to change their own life so that they can have the love, the life that they truly desire and the love that they desire as well. So they are becoming the magician of their own life. The next card that has come out is the King of Swords. So, you know, they may be seeming like they are distant, they're cold, they are sort of focused on other things. As you can see, the Divine Masculine is sort of like in their own world there. You know, there's um, a lot going on that they're focused on, but that is because there are certain things that they're fixing in their own life, certain things that they're working on for themselves so that they may be able to bring in that life that they desire. You can see that Divine Masculine there is really in that place of thinking about things and just really sort of planning. And, you know, they are in that place where they are focused on what they're doing in their own life right now, realizing the power that they have within, that they are the magician of their own life. You know, you can see there's an owl there, and owl is all about wisdom. So you're being shown here that they are gaining the wisdom as well. And, you know, there is like 
a dragonfly as well here that's all about transformation and you know and crows are all about mysteries so mysteries are being revealed to the divine masculines so there's a lot that is going on as well and there's that bird in flight there it's like a bat in, in flight or something there and that's about them finding their freedom so there's a lot that is going on with them you know they're really gaining the wisdom they are realizing the power that they have really sort of more in their power even though they may be they may be seeming cold towards you because they're focused on other things you know they in their mind they are sort of being logical thinking about how to make things happen you know realizing the power that they have and you can actually see it's like that divine masculine there sort of has it's the first time i'm noticing this like it's like their wings on their shoulders there you know this is about them finding their freedom so that they can really sort of fly and move forward towards that life that they truly desire so you're being shown in here that the divine masculines are really sort of really realizing their power and starting to stand more into their power to find their freedom and you know as they become wiser to move forward towards the life that they truly desire so really powerful that that has come out and the next cup that the next card that came up the next cup is the nine of cups and this is about wishes coming true so you know you are being shown here that you know their wishes are, are also coming true they are going to have that life that they truly desire their wishes of having that love with you as well their divine feminine the abundance all the things that they are desiring it's like they're setting their intentions speaking to the universe asking for what they desire and those things are coming in for them you can see there that's like the divine masculine ready to receive the things that are coming in so they are being more in their power they are their wishes are coming true you know the things that they desire are coming in for them you know and they are going to have the life that they truly desire you know and that is about them moving into a place of celebrating as well that's celebrating with you their divine feminine that can be about going on holiday there's like a tent there you know that can be about adventure doing something celebrating with you but in everything that they're doing they're building a foundation for that life with you their divine feminine even if they may be focused on themselves right now they are building this foundation of this life with you where you are going to go on adventures you're going to have that life that you truly desire and celebrate as well and another card of celebration here has come out so this is about building a foundation for that life that you desire that will bring in celebrations so with the three of cups so that celebration is coming in for the divine masculine that celebration with you so their wishes are going to um, come true you know of being with you their divine feminine of the life that they truly desire they're now starting to stand more in their power really realizing that they have the power to bring in the life that they desire and you know they may be taking their time they may be focused on their own life right now but this is all them realizing the power that they have to bring in those celebrations and the life that they desire with you so those are the messages that are coming through for the divine masculines from that deck and then for you the divine feminine so a few cards have come out here so the first card that has come out is the Queen of Cups. So this is you as that beautiful, sensitive, divine feminine, you know, really sort of in your power as well. And, you know, you hold that cup of that love for your divine masculine, but you're also in a place of surrender, giving it to the universe, giving it to the creator, trusting that it is all going to come in at the right time for you. So you are in this place of really sort of, you know, being patient, being understanding, but, and also be holding that cup of love for your divine masculine, but really being in the place of giving it to the creator, knowing that it will all come in at the right time. So powerful that that has come out for you. The next card that has come out as well is the seven of pentacles. And this is about you, you know, it's like you've sown your, you've sown your seeds about the life that you truly desire and it is all growing you know that's the message the roots are sort of right in in the in the sand you know it is it is all coming up the things that you have been asking for it's like they're growing they're coming in so you're being shown here that the intentions that you've said that you've said to the universe the seeds that you've sown you know they're all coming up it is all coming in for you so it's about you continuing to stay in this place of of having that faith and surrendering giving it to the universe trusting that it is all growing so that it comes in for you at the right time so really powerful that those cards have come out for the you the divine feminine because that is going to bring in the world a completion it's going to bring in all the things that you desire 
that love with your divine masculine, you know, all the, the adventure, all the things that you are wanting, that completion is coming in to bring you in the world. So you're being shown here that it's all about you continuing to stand in your power, being patient, being understanding giving your divine masculine the time that they need to get there and that is going to bring you in all the things that you desire and the next card that has come out as well is the ace of cups so that's going to bring in that union that you desire that's what the ace of cups is about it's about that union on the physical but it's also about you filling up your own cup during this time of you sort of giving it to the universe you are filling up your own cup your own cup of self-love really operating from that place of all letting you your cup overflow giving yourself all the love and doing things for yourself so and everything starts with you so the more you are filling up your own cup the more you're also helping to bring in that union as well on the physical with your divine masculine so really powerful this is showing you that that union is coming in the more you are filling up your own cup and operating from a place of love for yourself in everything that you do and also towards your divine masculine but this is showing you that great things are coming in you know you are going to have the world you are going to have that union that you desire as well and then the next and the reason is because you know you are leaving the past behind you've come to the end of a cycle as well in your life you know you're moving forward to the next chapter of your life so you know the chapter of your life where everything you know is is come where there, there is a change that has happened in your life right now and you are sort of leaving all that behind moving forward to the next chapter of your life that is bringing in that completion that is bringing in that union as well so it's about you continuing to keep moving forward and you're also moving forward you've got all those birds above you that's about moving forward you know into freedom into the life that you're truly here to live living behind the life that has been restricted the life that is you know sort of where you were not free so you are finding your freedom as well and moving into the next chapter of your life that is bringing in that completion and the last card that, oh, there's two more. The la the next card that came out is the Page of Pentacles. So this is about that growth as well. So you are growing spiritually as well as a divine feminine. The more you're continuing to keep moving forward, you are also in this place of growing spiritually. So you're being asked to really continue to be in your power as a divine feminine, to really continue to keep working on your spiritual growth because that is bringing in all the things that you desire. And the last card that has come out is the four of cups so do not be in this place of boredom if there is any of that coming in for you work on releasing that be in a place of gratitude for all the things that you have in your life right now you have so much going on in your life you know be grateful for your life on a day-to-day -day basis release that feeling of boredom if that is coming in for you i feel this is not for everyone this may be coming in for uh, for other people but if it is coming in then it's about you releasing that and being in that place of of enjoying your life being grateful for the blessings that you have in your life right now and knowing that the seeds that you've sown the the, the crops are growing you know the the life that you are moving into as you move into the next chapter of your life it is all coming in you know you've given that to the universe the universe is working to bring that in for you so release any sort of feelings of boredom and know that it is all coming in for you so those are the messages that are coming through for that. And then the cards that came out for the Divine Masculines from um, the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So the first card that came out is the Release card. So, you know, this is showing your Divine Masculines are in the, uh, your Divine Masculine is in this place of releasing the things that need to go for their life. This, this can be karmic situations, certain habits, all that no longer serves and they're also working on releasing. That's what they are also thinking about is that Queen, King of Swords, you know, sitting there really sort of thinking, how can I get rid of what is not serving me anymore? They are in this place of releasing. And, and they are also starting to stand in their truth. You know, they are realizing what is their truth, their truth when it comes to the way that they feel, the, the love for you, their divine feminine. And, you know, and as they are awakening as well, they are sort of in this place of really starting to stand more for their truth. You know, releasing the things that are not of their truth, the things that no longer serve them so that they can really move forward towards you know, moving forward towards what is their truth, which is that love with you, which is the life that they are truly here to live as well. The life 
where they whereby they're doing their mission as well so they are moving more into their truth as well and then the next card the last one that came out is the potential card so this is showing you that there is potential for the divine masculines to really sort of leave behind what needs to go and really move into the life that they are truly here to live you know this is all coming in for them because they're standing more in their power this is like a volcano e erupting as well so that's about that change that is happening for the divine masculines you know they're realizing their potential as they're starting to get into the place of connecting more to their true power, they are realizing that there is so much within them that is a, that they are here to do. And it's about the potential of them actually sort of really going forward to do what they are here to do. It's like a re, an erupting volcano and actually freeing themselves and moving forward towards where, where they are truly meant to be. So you're being shown here that there is all that potential coming in for your divine masculine to do all that they, they are here to do. And then the cards that came out for you, the divine feminine. So the first card that has come out is the going forward card. So you're being asked to keep moving forward, release any sort of boredom, any sort of, you know, anything that may try and come in your way and keep moving forward on your path. Keep moving forward, growing up spiritually, moving forward towards the light as well. And, you know, the more you are in your power, the more you're filling up your own cup as well. Going forward, this is going to bring in all the things that you desire. It's going to bring in that completion as well. It's also going to bring in new beginnings for you. So you're being shown here that as you reach the end of a tough cycle in your life and move forward into freedom, into the life that you truly desire going forward, you know, this is bringing in new beginnings. So great things are coming in for you. Those new beginnings are coming in and that is going to bring you in happiness. So really beautiful that that has come out as well. As like you and your divine masculine, you know, the dolphins, they, they're all about unconditional love. So you are learning to give yourself unconditional love and to you are also going to have those new beginnings of unconditional love as well with your divine masculine. So this is showing you that great things are coming in, that happiness is coming in for you as well, the divine feminine. And then the cards that came out for the divine masculines from the power in nature, twin flame oracle. So the first card that came out for them is the roots run deep. And it says always together and connected, there is no separation. So, you know, this is about your divine masculine realizing that they're always connected with you, their divine feminine. Even if they may have walked away, they're realizing that you're always together because they feel you around them. You know, they realize the love that they have for you, that it, it is a really deep love that comes from deep within. So, you know, your roots run deep. They are realizing that the roots of the love that they have with you, it runs deep into their soul, into their heart. And that there is no separation between you because they see signs about you. They're always, you know, feeling you around them. They see you in their dreams. So, you know, you're always together and connected. And the next card that came out for the Divine Masculines is Intentions and Wishes, which is really powerful when they had that card of the nine of cups as well, showing you that their wishes are coming true. So they are setting their intentions. They are speaking to the universe for by asking for the things that they desire, that love that they truly desire, that life that they desire as well. And it says communicate clearly with the universe. So they are speaking clearly to the universe, asking for what they truly desire really powerful and the last card that came out for them is heart and it says always follow your heart in everything you do so your divine masculine is really getting to that place of connecting more with their heart you know following their heart releasing what needs to go realizing the power that they have within that they don't have to follow the crowd or do what everyone else is doing you know they it is about them following their heart so they're really working now on following more on following their heart more and really sort of releasing the things that that have been holding them back so they are following more of their heart and that is leading them to you their divine feminine and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so there were three cards so the first one that came out you also got the release card which uh the divine masculines got and you know and this is saying part ways with all that is not aligned so you know on your path is all divine feminine on your day in your day-to-day -day life you know always observe your life and see what is not aligned with who you are today who you are becoming and release all that it's always about letting go of anything that is still in the way of you really living the life that you're truly here to live so part ways with all that is not aligned and then the next card that came out is do you 
So you're being asked to do you. You know, even if other people don't understand what you are doing in your life, the angels are saying, do you. Don't be bothered but what by what others think, say, or do. So don't be bothered by what others think, say, or do. Do you. Just do, you know, whatever it is that you'll be, you're feeling like you're wanting to do. The guidance is coming in from your, uh, from your heart, from your soul. Do you is the message that's coming through. The more you're doing you, the more you're being true to yourself as well. The more you're being your true authentic self. And that is what really helps as well to bring in all the things that you desire. And the last card that came out is divine protection, which is really powerful. So you're being shown here that your journey is put protected, you know, by the creator. And it says your twin flame journey is divinely protected. So you're being shown that your journey is, is protected. Release any boredom, release any fears and know that it is all protected so that it comes in at the right time. Your divine masculine is protected. You are protected. Your journey is protected and you will come together at the right time. So really powerful as well that that has come out. And then the cards that came out for the journey. So the first one is uh, the transformation, which is a dragonfly. And it's powerful because the divine masculine also had that um, dragonfly on the card of the king of um, the king of swords. So, and it says transformation, a time of reinvention for the self. So your divine masculine is going through this time of change, this time of reinvention of the self so that they can truly step into their divine masculine power. You're also going through this transformation, reinventing the self so that you can truly step into your divine feminine power and do the who and become who you truly are and you know your true self and really be able to live the life that you are here to live so your journey is going through that change as well that transformation and that is bringing in the life that you truly desire the next one was vision and it says keep your focus on the desired end result don't worry about the how and the when and this is what came out for the journey so this is for both you and your divine masculine it's about you both keeping your um you know your your focus on the end result visualizing that life that you truly desire you know your divine masculine is setting intentions their wishes are coming true they have that vision of the life that they desire so it's about you doing the same don't worry about the how and the when and you're both working towards the same goal so that's the message that's coming through to keep your vision when it comes to this love and the life that you desire and the last cards that came out for the journey is communication which is really powerful a message message coming your way incoming miracles so you're being shown here that a message is coming your way you know that communication is coming in from your divine masculine because they are wanting to bring this in they're wanting those celebrations with you so they are incoming miracles when it comes to your journey really beautiful messages coming through today and then the cards that came out for the um from from the uh answers from above for the divine masculine for, for the divine masculine so the first one was give it time so you know this is about your divine masculine not rushing into anything you know this is why they sort of see it as the king of swords and they're thinking about things they're planning things you know it's because they just need to give it time they don't need to rush into anything to do things the right way and also their healing it takes time for the divine masculines it's not something that they can just rush so they are giving it time you know they're giving themselves the time to get to the way to get to where they are truly meant to be they're not rushing anything because they need to do things the right way so they're giving it time but they will get there and the second card that came out for them was shine bright to manifest your dreams and your divine masculine is realizing now that to manifest their dreams the vision that they have of that life with you they need to sort of let go of the fears and really sort of step into their power and shine bright so they are working on shining brighter in their own lives as well the more they're moving more the more they're awakening and moving more into operating more from the heart and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so there were a few cards that came out for you so the first card that came out here is your birthday brings power so this is really powerful you know you are being shown here that your birthday brings power if your birthday is coming soon the angels are saying your birthday is bringing power so you know this may just be power of you just loving your life and doing the things that you truly enjoy for your birthday so it's about you you know just loving your life is the message that comes through bringing power for you but it may be bringing power when it comes to your journey with your divine masculine as well and then the next card that came out is release all blame to heaven. So if you are 
sort of holding on to any blame for your divine masculine for other people release all that blame to heaven the next message is trust in divine timing so you're being asked divine feminine to trust in divine timing because it is all coming in for you and then the next card is patience is power so the angels are saying trust in divine timing patience is power and is bringing in all the things that you desire there was a card for you the divine feminine which was about you know setting intentions and something you know things growing it takes time for for something that you've planted for those seeds to grow so you know you're being shown here that patience is power it is all growing and coming in for you so really really powerful this is not the end it's all coming in you know this is not the end it's all just part of the process when it comes to your journey so the angels are saying this is not the end and then the next card that came out is during the summer so so great things are coming in during the summer you know it's summer is all about in, invigoration and things moving Moving forward so you're being shown here that during the summer great things are coming in for you so in the meantime clear your space you know if there's anything even in your day-to-day -day life things that are de you know it's about decluttering clear your space it can also be about clearing your energy field as well you know using sage to clear your space and then the last message that came in is a big change is coming so the angels are saying during the summer you know, clear your space, release all the things that needs to go in the meantime. During the summer, a big change is coming. So there's something coming in for you, uh, you know, a big change that is coming in for you. It could be during the summer, it could be between now and the summer, whenever that is, you know, patience is power. But know that a big change is coming when it comes to your life. So really powerful that that has come out. And then the cards that came out from this deck for the journey. So the first one that came out is apologize. And I really feel because this is for the journey that this is what your divine masculine wants to do as well. They want to move forward and apologize to you, their divine feminine, to start things moving forward, you know, because that communication card also came out. And then the next message that came out is the way is being made. So when it comes to your journey, your twin through the journey for both you and your divine masculine, the way is being made to help you to come together. That's going to bring your divine masculine to apologize. And you know, where they want to, they feel that they need to apologize and want to apologize. And you know, the way is being made to bring in all these things. And then it won't happen the way you expect it to, but it will happen. So you're being shown here that if you are having any expectations about it may happen this way, it may happen that way, it won't happen the way that you're expecting it to, but it will happen. So just release it to the universe, to the creator, and trust that it will happen. So really powerful. And the last message that came out is things will fall into place. So you're being shown here, this is for the journey that, you know, your journey is not going to happen the way that you think it will, but it will happen and everything will fall into place. So things will fall into place. A big change is coming. So great things are coming in when it comes to your journey and, you know, beautiful messages coming through for you today. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.